I think this is it. We're gonna fight a boat, set up a little farm base out here too, and then we're gonna use that to get components. Should be good, man. Should be good. some furnaces in those windows. <laughs> Damn. All right, let's sweep these nodes and then uh, get back to base. I don't want to lose the jackhammer. Let's go. <laughs> that guy is so unlucky, man. So not worth it. <laughs> so not worth it, man. Someone just yoink my recycler. Yeah, we'll go to the blue harbor puzzle. C4? Holy shit. Yeah, up there. At that base. Oh my god. Okay. That was definitely C4, man. Get it though, just one, just one C4. Maybe they were just like, 
destroying something? I don't know. It's fucking weird. What the hell, man? That was the worst way to creep up. <laughs> there were so many fucking people there too. Uh, Jesus, dude. What are you doing? Holy, it's a lot of juice. I'm glad I stashed that stuff though, because I almost went to that fight, like, <laughs> I almost rushed that C4 without stashing. And that would have been so dumb. Where was that even? Okay, close-ish to airfield. That's why. There was a bit of commotion. We should try and run airfield actually. Now that I got a blue card. Just need one. I think I need another fuse. such like a risk <laughs> but I mean I got the blue card from that dude on the boat so it's not big I don't really care if I lose it she that is completely looted Might as well run sats while we're out though. I feel like we should learn frag. Like, I need to learn Thompson, but I don't even have a level, like a tier 2 workbench. Because we can make plays with frags. need that floor grill. What a bad time for that guy to go AFK. How is... How... Huh? What do you... What do you mean? Dude, I'm fucking... Body shot, headshot, and he's not fucking dead? Are you kidding me? Fuck, man. Ah, oh, that's that's nuts. As if he didn't die. That's some bullshit. Ah, uh, please leave my floor grill. That's all I want. He would have just yoinked it all, I think. Fuck, he took it. Took the crossy too. If you couldn't tell, I really wanted that floor grill. This was so I could expand the base into a large furnace base and cover the furnace roof with floor grills. So understandably, my morale was pretty low. I really needed a pick-me-up. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man, the furnace is wrong.
Oh my god. <laughs> gotta get out. Gotta get out, gotta get out. Yes, dude. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh no. Go, 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 oh my god, yes, get to bandit. <laughs> He needs to farm, man. He needs to farm in this game. Alright, now I'm just gonna get this home. Yes! Yes! Ah, uh, those dumb dogs. While my spirits were high, I whacked my newly acquired farm into the furnaces and fortified my base. After that, I was checking out what other players were selling in their shop, and I noticed a base further north that was boasting some decent items, including rockets, explosives, and explosive 556 ammo. So I thought it'd be worth a gander. I feel like I have not seen this base. We should probably check it out, to be honest. There she blows. Let's see what we're working with here. Naturally, I tried to build in. But it was unsuccessful, and rightfully so, the owner came out and killed me. <laughs> okay. Call this one jump. Man, these guys are still cooking. Alright, let's check if these uh, if these lads are ever gonna leave their compound again. <laughs> Nothing. Surely not, man. How? 
how have they allowed me to do this again? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude. They're actually so dumb. He's so much metal, dude. I mean, they didn't really put sulfur out there this time. Probably learned their lesson on that, uh, that front, I would imagine. I finished upgrading the base and shortly after when spawning in a bag nearby, I noticed an airdrop not far to the east. run dude how has this happened hold on there is no way I get away with this how did they let me do that fuck yeah all right we got a sar I think me old mate uh, you know who is gonna jump on for a bit what's up dude got balls up in here. I am in D7 ah you're actually pretty close um Go, like, south. Go to, uh, B10. You wanna come out on the boat? Mm -hmm. Go on a little expedition. Mm -hmm. I see you. I'm gonna try and shoot you. Yeah, I see you. No! Can't catch it. So the codes. Are now that we've got a SAR, all we need to do is research the SAR, and then there's a shop up like north of Outpost, and they're selling explosive 55 ammo for 300 scrap. So we pretty much need 750 to learn the explosive 55. 300 to buy it, it's a thousand, and then 250 for the SAR. We need like 2,000 scrap. How do you feel about taking all our components to bandit camp and recycling it all and then gambling it, trying to get 2,000 scrap? Cool. You know, was on board, kinda. So that's exactly what we did. To be honest, it was getting later into the wipe and we both had some other commitments, meaning we wouldn't have the time to grind the scrap to research gear to raid with. The only chance we had was to make an absolute killing by gambling at bandit camp. It was risky. Essentially, if we failed, it probably was going to be the end of the wipe for both of us, and the base would decay with a ton of unused sulfur and gunpowder. What do you reckon is the best strategy for um, gambling? High odds, like for 10s and 20, or like... I reckon if we if we always put like at least 10 on number 20 so then if we hit that like we're in the, in the money yeah and then stick for like ones and like maybe threes nah I got good feels good feels man alright so we got like 550 scrap alright Take a, take a seat, mate. What about 50 for the first time? Just for good luck. 50, yeah. And then we'll put like... 200 and... 250 on one? Yeah. Okay. We've got one, three, and 20. Our winners. 
If it's five or ten, I'm getting mad as hell. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay, we're down to 126 scrap. Fuck. Okay, what do you feel? 50 on 10. 50 on 10. <laughs> Fucking hell, I can't believe we just lost all that scrap. How is that the first number it lands on? It's such a Come stitch on up. 10. Come on, 10. Oh, it's looking oh, oh, good! Oh, oh. Oh, yes. Yes. yes! Oh, we're back. <laughs> we're back. Yes. No way. Okay, you're the lucky charm. What do you feel this time? I reckon 100 on 3. Okay, yeah. I did like I did like 150 on 3 and like 40 on 20. Oh my god. Three. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not calling the shots anymore. You're calling it. What's next? One hundred on five. If this happens, like I'm done. I'm just gonna turn the Xbox off. Well, I feel like you can't lose. Uh, I feel like you can't lose. Did I really say that? I mean, I'm not superstitious, but safe to say, after this comment, we lost. And lost. Okay. And then we lost some more. Until we were really clutching at straws. Is that a... No, so close. Just short, no. I reckon. No, so close again. Oh, this is 20. No, too far. I won. <laughs> Fuck it up. No Far enough. No. One again. One again. No, it's a one. A... It's a three. Or do you want to go... 50 on 20 and 105, because that will keep us in the game. Yeah. If not, then it's over. The dream. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so 5 or fingers, 20. Fingers crossed. Let's Come on, go. man. For the rate. It's going to be a 20. I'm feeling the 20. You're feeling the 20. I don't think it's going to be a 20. No. It's not Five? Gonna be a Five? No. No. Oh. <laughs> Uh, fuck. Such a good run as well, at the start. And of course, like a good gambler does, we resorted to selling our personal belongings to fuel the gambling addiction. All for a good cause, of course. To win the scrap to continue our story during this wipe. I mean, we could bring back- we got a lot of spare metal frags. We could bring back some of that and gamble more. I got like 6,000. Hold on, babe, we're just gambling real quick. Should we just do. Do you just want to do all of it on 20? <laughs> or like <laughs> half on 20, half on 10? Or like. Yep, half, half 120, 120. Right. Either way, it's. If we win, like, if this if this happens, then, I don't know, I kind of, I've already accepted defeat, so, like, I'm not sure how, yeah. how I'll feel about it. It's been, it's been fun gambling with you. Likewise. Ten and twenty, eh? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. 2,000 scrap. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually like... low. <laughs> On the last bed. Oh, oh my god, dude. Alright, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Oh, that, that was intense. I actually have no words. As previously planned, we use some of the scrap winnings to buy the explosive ammo and also learn a bunch of useful items that we'd need to raid.
It wasn't long after that when I headed out to chase another airdrop that was landing on an island not Good. far from my base. Is that AK? The fuck there's an AK on this island? Holy. Really? In this base? That's a fucking M2. Okay. I don't know if they're just not rendering, to be honest. I think they're not rendering. That is like a tiny base. Telling me there's an M2 in that base? I feel like there might be an M2 in that little base. And just like that, we had a raid target. So I crafted up all the exploit ammo that we could afford, and when Yuno hopped back on, we headed over. I think we have enough to raid this base. I just don't know the best way to raid it. Imagine nearly getting killed by a guy with a rock. <laughs> I set up a small base on the island that we could use to transport loot if we needed to. Do we have everything we need? TC. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Okay. Good luck. I'm scared. It's gonna go terrible. Shh. Shut up, dude. I just have a feeling. Just because we had such a good run last night. Yeah. Like, back and forth. We had, like, a good run in the sense that we got back and forth from Bandit so many times without getting killed. Dead. Yep, yeah. without getting dead. Without getting deaded. Legit. So that's the base to the right there. That's the base we're raiding. Yeah. I think, I think we just go through doors, like, because if it's sheet metal doors all the way through, it'll be way cheaper than going through the wall. That's a pretty door. Hmm. So it's just whether once we get to the inner 2x2 two two core, if it's all sheet metal doors, we'll be good. Like, we'll be sweet. All right, you ready? E. Yeah. Keep going. Shit. Oh wow. Whoa, he's got camo stuff. That's cool. I've seen that before. There's three sleepers. Yeah, yeah, these guys are gonna be loaded, man. They're gonna be loaded. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, come back here for a sec. All right. So, last one we gotta do is is the middle here, like uh, up here. Nice, TC. I'm just gonna put it here. Is there metal frags? Oh, that road sign jacket. Thanks. <laughs> Lucky. Let's see what was in the TC. 
Okay. This first box. Keeps gunned. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> Did they have explosives? They got two satchels there. Oh, there's some sulfur at the back, like a roll of sulfur. Bunch of key cards. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, pretty decent, right. really. Like, uh, yeah, do you see this box of components? Crazy. I don't know, dude. Oh shit, did you look in this drop box? I mean, we spent quite a bit, but still we like fill the components and stuff probably worth. We decided to jackhammer up through the stone roof to check out the upper level of the base. Ready? But there was literally nothing there. Okay. That's a lot of furnace. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> After that, we did a few runs back and forth to depot all the best loot and called it a night. Good shit. As you probably noticed, it turned out it wasn't the group with the M249, and it wasn't an overly exciting raid, but we were simply happy to get a raid under our belt with how close we'd been to not even having that opportunity. All in all, it was a really fun wipe, and definitely one of the better scrap gambling stories that I've experienced to date. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys real soon with another Rust console adventure.